This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well today. We're in the FA18C Hordy. It's January 2021. We have two new modes for our air to ground radar. GMT, ground moving target and C mode. GMT is used for looking for moving vehicles on terrain. C mode is for looking for static and moving targets on the sea and they are optimized for those operations. Role play one. There are three vehicles roughly on my nose where I've been vectored to. Two of them are civilian vehicles moving at 10 knots. One of them is a hostile vehicle moving at 20 knots. I've got to use my air to ground radar to determine which is the hostile. There's no other way of finding out which is the bad guy. So air to ground mode defaults to map so let's press again to ground moving target there are three guys that I see about 15 miles ahead of me first thing let's increase the refresh rate by reducing the azimuth coverage so here and maybe a little bit more good next if I wanted to also view the terrain in this mode because maybe one was next to a large feature then I could interleave that would show the returns interleaved over the terrain feedback in this case I don't so we'll get rid of that next let's unpause and go and do the actual mission so first assign our TDC to this right DDI using sensor control switch right we now have the diamond next we're going to use our throttle designator control up down left and right or TDC slew keys to highlight a guy next sensor control switch right to actually perform a radar lock and we can see if I pause the guy we've got locked is traveling at nine knots the tail there shows his direction of travel in relation to me and his actual heading there is 212 degrees so that is not the guy we want let's come back press nose wheel steering button to lose the target let's start again let's try this guy over here sensor control switch right this guy is 19 knots let's say 20 in a westerly direction that's our bad guy that's how we've used the Doppler effect of the air to ground radar to identify our target note that this will also work through bad weather whereas for instance a teapot won't now to actually engage the great thing about this is this has already created a target diamond so there's our target diamond on the HUD there's our range to the target so to engage a weapon is incredibly easy let's get an IR Maverick set up what we're going to do now is to assign our TDC to left screen with sensor control switch left. Ping. That will automatically slave the Maverick Seeker head to the air to ground radar lock. All we've got to do now is to get in range. So we speed that up a little. About five miles, something around there, it will get in range. There we go. Seven miles. Fire the weapon with uh, the weapon uh, release button. Off he goes. And that is a dead bad guy. There is no escaping the GMT mode of the air to ground radar, my friend. Boom, boom. Wunderbar. Next, we've just heard there is an escaped uh, cruiser, I think, or maybe a destroyer. Out to sea. Quick, get to sea mode. Very similar operation. We also have the interleave function. So let's turn out to sea. My GCI controller gives me the rough direction. Now, there are two vessels. One has gone down to zero knots whereas the bad guy is continuing to move exactly the same thing we're going to use the Doppler effect of our air to ground radar we need to unlock our target so nose will steering to unlock the target now we're going to increase the range okay two guys there let's have a bet that the lower guy is the moving guy so assign our TDC sensor control switch right move over to him sensor control switch right to create a lock we can see that he's moving at 26 knots, heading 169. So that's the bad guy. We can go and engage. If we had a harpoon, send the harpoon to that target. That's what I want to show with the C mode and the GMT mode. They're super easy to use, super simple, super reliable, and a really good addition. I hope that was useful, and see you later.